Hey you guys, in this video I'm going to tell you just how important it is to have you a survival shelter built back in the mountains where you hunt. In this situation right here guys, I need to get a fire built. I need to get it built pretty quick and uh, so I can heat me up some food. And that's what happened to you if you get out here and you get stuck or get trapped in one of these snowstorms. This is the way you want to have guys, you want to have your shelter somewhere. Guys, I don't know about your neck of the woods, but it's coming down an inch an hour right here in Land County, Virginia. I took this base rock I had right here in front of this hearth and laid it on top of this thing because I can't keep the snow cleaned out of it long enough to get a fire going here. So we'll see what we can do. I think I've got some fat wood hid back in here and we'll see if we can get this fire going. Okay, you guys, keep your fingers crossed. I hope that piece of fat wood's big enough to catch up that wood I got cut right there. Ooh, doggy, you guys. I'm telling you. Be some daggone uh, snow there, you guys. I guess the way it's going to have to be today. Tell you what, though. When you're trying to build a fire out here in this type of weather right here, all this stuff is wet and cold. You got to burn the moisture out of it to get it to burn. So uh, you better practice this stuff, guys. If you ever get caught in one of these situations, many, many people, many of them, good people, die every year because they don't know how to build a fire in drastic situations. I'll let that melt down there and then I'm going to make me some coffee right there. It's come along pretty good, you guys. Believe it or not, you guys, these, these hunting shelters, they really do come in handy. The, the first time I ever killed a deer way back there, guys, in the 1970s, uh, there was like, it was 17 degrees and it was pouring snow just like this right here. It's probably 10 inches on the ground. And I... I moved into the territory, tracked an old deer down, and shot it. The first one I ever killed. So, you know, a lot of people don't like to hunt in this kind of weather, but, you know, to put food on the table sometimes, you got to hunt. So it's best, you guys, if you get out here and construct you some of these shelters. I, won't, I can't say it enough. Construct you some so that you'll be dry and you can still hunt. And this is my base camp right here, guys. Coffee sure does smell good. How's that piece of fat wood caught up real good there now? Stuff's miraculous stuff. But even damp fat wood takes a little bit to, to catch up. I'm gonna warm my coffee up just a little bit there. Had it sitting down on that cold snow. Cool it down there just to fuzz. Yep, just what the doctor ordered on a cold, snowy day, you guys. Hope you guys has had a good uh, hunting season, all of you. So far, my my son out west killed him a big old elk there the other day. So if you look on my my page there, and you'll see a picture of a big old elk my son uh, Seth killed. And I'm still hanging in there. Looks to me like uh, late muzzle loading season. And if I can get some flint and some black powder, guys, I'm going to try that muzzle loader out I built. Hey, guys, thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. You guys uh, stay safe and stay warm. Learn how to survive. Have a great day.